And the KSN Summer Road Trip is underway. Day one off to a great start. We have Jeff Herndon, Julia Thatcher, Eddie Randall, and Alexis Padilla live in my wife's hometown, the home of basketball champions, McPherson. Hey, guys. Tell you what, Jason, you nailed it. What a wonderful start so far to the big KSN summer road trip. We are just, what, four or five hours underway, uh -huh. and it has not disappointed, guys. It's wild. We've been counting down this day since last year's summer road trip, yeah. and so to say we're finally here, we're feeling a lot of energy and a lot of love already from our two stops. Yeah, yeah. the first stop we have to say, we kept telling them, you guys set the bar extremely mm -hmm. high. It can only go up from here, though. Yeah, it's great. I felt spoiled. This is my first time being on the road trip, but Marion welcomed us so much, and McPherson's been a blast so far. Uh -huh. The the love and feeling of being spoiled only continues, and again, we mentioned it. We started our day right and early and we headed out from downtown Wichita driving about 58 miles north to Marion. We stopped at the city library. The 1912 Santa Fe Depot was transformed into the library opening in 2002. And what a welcome again we received. There were pastries, chocolates, cookies, popsicles, root beer, everything you could think of to sugar us up for the road <laughs> and give us enough energy to make this thousand plus mile trek around our state. You heard Alexis just name off all of those good treats. So of course, after filling our belly bellies, we came here to McPherson, a city and county named after Civil War Officer General James Burr. Birdseye McPherson, he actually never set foot in Kansas. So why was the city and uh, county named after him? Well, here it is. It's custom for veterans' names to be placed after their generals. And we are back out here live now at the water park. Uh, what a phenomenal facility this is just behind us here. Now, it opened up early offering free admission. That free admission goes until 1 o'clock this afternoon here at the McPherson Water Park. Families can also sign up to win a family water park pass. A lot going on out here today. And continuing on that free trend. Dairy Queen is actually out here also offering free ice cream. Uh, we got a lot of food in Marion, so that's continuing out here in McPherson. Yep. And uh, Alexis, you said it. I think it's spot on. We're feeling so much love. The the fire department let us crawl into the truck. That, that was, was very cool. cool. So uh, uh, a lot of laughter and maybe a little. Uh, we're trying to stay out of trouble. I'll say that. <laughs> I really want to go in the lazy river. I've heard good things. I know we don't have time, but people that can come over here, mm -hmm. check that out. You know, we got to take it easy on the snacks, though. I mean, I've had a snack at every, I've had a couple of snacks. And I, I keep saying if I keep eating like this, I'm not going to be able to fit into this KSN shirt. Yeah, absolutely. Right. We're going to have Lisa give us a check of the forecast before we head to break. And we are definitely starting to warm up here in the McPherson area. I'll tell you what, that wind coming in from the northeast, it feels refreshing over here in the shade. And as they were all talking about the fire trucks, yeah, we have the fire trucks right next to Storm Tracker 3. It's 72 degrees here. How much hotter temperatures are going to get over the next week? We'll take a look at that and also our trends when it comes to storms in your Storm Tracker 3 forecast after the break. You're watching KSN News 3. Now, your Storm Track 3 weather rate forecast. Welcome back. We definitely look forward to the KSN summer road trip every year because we get to meet you. You have been so welcoming to us in your communities this morning in Marion. Now we're here in McPherson and look at the crowd that has joined us. We have the fire department here for McPherson, but also I have Belle and I have Brooke. Of course, you can tell that they're sisters and and Belle, are you having a fun time today? Yeah, she definitely is. And we have Madison over here. And, uh, and and is that your daddy? Is that your dad? Yeah. Well, Caden, tell me a little bit about what you guys have here outside the water park. And, and by the way, thank you guys so much for everything that you do for us as firefighters. Yeah, so the first truck here is what we call Engine 1. That is our main response here in the city for fires or anything like that. And behind it is Ladder 1. Um, that's just commercial buildings and stuff like that it allows us to get a high water stream or onto the roof of something. So. All right. Well, like I said, thank you guys so much for everything that you do to help to keep us safe. And uh, I'll tell you what, I think uh, oh, I think Bell has the right idea. Definitely wearing the shirt, the short sleeves or that sleeveless shirt and enjoying some of that nat natural AC today. Uh, but when we talk about temperatures that are warming up, if we were to look back at a few years ago, none of us will forget February of 2021. I bring in, want to bring in meteorologist Ronnell Williams. And the reason we bring that up is because McPherson had an important part in that cold snap that we had back in 2021. Yeah, that's right. There were multiple hours where not only McPherson, but the state of Kansas, multiple states below freezing temperatures for so much of a time. Mm -hmm. And there were actually mandatory blackouts that were going on across the region 
Fortunately, though, McPherson didn't have to do that because of the infrastructure here. They were able to avoid that, and they were one of the few cities and towns, you know, not only in the state, again, across the entire region, mm -hmm. that didn't have to do that because of that. But, you know, Lisa, I know we're talking about <laughs> below freezing temperatures. We're coming up on uh, summer here in a couple of weeks. And, um, you know, we were just talking about the long range models and it's, it's not too bad out here right now, but no, uh -uh. things are going to heat up here pretty soon. It is going to be a drastic change one week from today. Many more temperatures will be back into the 90s, yeah. if not the triple digits. And even though storm trackers reporting the lower 70s, you already found ice cream for the day. If there's food, Ron is drawn to it like a moth to a flame. That's for sure. Signal. Let's let's go ahead and take a look at the forecast. If you want to come out and see me, Ronnell, Jeff, Julia, Alexis and Eddie, the whole KSN crew, the Good Day Kansas crew, uh, come meet us here in McPherson. We're going to be here for a little bit longer. We're going to be then going to Concordia and we will be ending the day in Salina. Welcome back to McPherson, the KSN summer road trip live from the McPherson Water Park. It is beautiful. It going their day off from school, they're going down that massive water slide and they're relaxing. hot summer days. McPherson has so much to offer. One of those places, the Opera House. Take a look at this video right here. It's actually about a mile from where we're standing right now. Built in 1818, it was one of the first in the country with electricity. Opening night, get this, all 900 seats were sold. Pretty impressive for a town less than 2,500. In 1925, the Opera House turned into a movie theater. Now let's fast forward to the 80s. It was set to be demolished, but it was saved thanks to the McPherson Opera House Preservation Company. A lot of work went into renovating what you now see today. But it was worthwhile. We are an anchor for our community. We we bring in tourists. We offer so many entertainment, art, culture, different things, mm -hmm. and education for people within our community. So it was very important to have this place here, this facility. And the Opera House is run by all volunteers. It's not a nonprofit, so donations and memberships keep it going. Moving on, more than 800 students go to McPherson College. It is home to a world-renowned auto restoration program. This year, a 1953 Mercedes-Benz 300 S Cabriolet fully restored by students will be shown in our nation's most prestigious car event in Pebble Beach. This car was very, very original. So part of being a hand-built car, every part, so every piece of woodwork, every piece of trim, the chrome trim, on this car, the leather was made for this car and it is actually numbered 39A on this and almost every single piece was original. So we were able to track those pieces that they were born with this car. Comedian and car enthusiast Jay Leno, a huge part of McPherson College's success. Not only has he donated to the program, he sponsors two scholarships. So cool. And moving on to Marion, home to the historic Elgin Hotel, built in 1886 with a price tag of $25,000. Over the years, it changed hands many times. For three decades, it was used as apartments. In 2006, a Hillsborough couple bought it investing nearly two million dollars to restore it to its glory's day, glory days. In 2016, it was sold again. My husband Jeremy and I have a passion for history and um, we always feel like if it was built to be a hotel, it should be returned to its original purpose. So our vision was to open it back up as a hotel and um, open it up to the public so the public could enjoy it. The hotel originally had 42 rooms suites and the couple hopes to turn the Elgin into one of the hottest vacation destinations in Kansas. Hey, you know what? My favorite place to be in the summer. I'm talking about the lake, Marion <laughs> County, home to two. You've got Marion County Lake and you've got Marion Lake, formerly known as Marion Reservoir. Now, the reservoir sits northwest of town. It's operated by the Kansas Army Corps of Engineers. The county lake is southeast of Marion, and there's some big old bass in that county <laughs> lake. I saw pictures today. Uh, the Marion County Lake, proud owner of a Guinness World Record, by the way, for what, you might be asking? Well, it's not fish. It's the most marshmallows roasted at the same time. March 24th, 2012, 1,272 sticky pieces of sugar sat above a fire simultaneously. Now, Eddie, 
the summer road trip just getting started after we're done here we're heading north to cloud county we'll be at broadway plaza in concordia at 2 30 then we'll be in downtown salina at 4 30 broadcasting our five and six newscast live from there so be sure to come out and say hi daddy wants to roast a marshmallow now i got it i got him <laughs> thinking about it and when you do come down hey snap a photo this is a cool deal here uh submit that photo on our website to be entered to win a road trip prize pack from shields five uh, fifty dollar shields gift card one hundred dollar gas card you got a cooler you got tumblers you got snacks it is everything you need when you hit the road very excited can't wait I think my favorite part was hearing uh, Jeff say, Lurk! <laughs> <laughs> All right, more from the road trip. We'll be right back. Your forecast first with Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman, sponsored by X Services. Good evening. What a way to kick off the first day of the KSN summer road trip. We are now in Salina. <laughs> Take a look at this incredible crowd. We started the day in Marion. We went over to McPherson. Then we went up to Concordia. But now we are ending the day here in Salina. We're going to be here for our 5 and 6 o'clock broadcast. Come on out and join us. Make sure you have a little bit of water because it's a little toasty out here, isn't it? Y'all ready for the 90s? They're not. We'll talk about that ahead in your full Storm Track 3 forecast. Your news starts now. Time for some fun here. KSN Road Trip in full swing. Our team traveling more than a thousand miles around the state to meet you and share what makes your town so unique. Julia Thatcher, Jeff Herndon, live from downtown Salina. How's it going out there, team? Hey. Hey, Craig, we are live in Salina. Yeah. We heard Lisa Teachman say it earlier. It is our last stop on the KSN Summer Road Trip, and we are at the 67401 Plaza in downtown. It has been a twirlwind of a trip <laughs> so far, I must say. All right, Punny, take right. a look behind us right here. This is Shannon Starr's Twirling Club, and they are the USA Twirling Team. Coming up in August, they are headed to Great Britain to compete in the World Championship, so a pretty big deal, and we're excited to have yeah, them out here I, with us. I'm so stoked. There's a lot of mm -hmm. folks out here in Salina that have come out to say hello. Uh, again, though, day one of the KSN Summer Road Trip, uh, quickly coming to a close. Again, we traveled, what, about uh, 200 yeah. miles through uh, central Kansas today. Uh, we left downtown Wichita bright and early this morning, drove about 60 miles to Marion. Let's talk about Marion for a moment, okay? You know how Monday mornings kind of drag <laughs> sometimes. You got a case of the Mondays. Nah, not today. Not the case in Marion. <laughs> they brought the energy. It was a party at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. A bouncy house, chocolates, pastries, you name it, it was there. They had it all outside of the 1912 Santa Fe Depot that was turned into the city's library. And it is something to see. Now, our next stop, Mac Town. Talking about McPherson here. We broadcast KSN News at noon from the McPherson Water Park. A uh, little little chilly for a swim for some people. Surprisingly for yeah. June. Yeah, for June. Uh, but the kiddos still put on the swimsuits, took advantage of free admission today at the water park. And we, we met with several firefighters, Julie, who came out to say hello. They did. They let me yeah. crawl into the bucket. That was a highlight for me in McPherson. After packing up, though, in McPherson, we had to do North Stopping in Concordia, home to 5,100 people, Cloud Community College, and North Central Kansas Medical Center, which opened its doors less than a year ago. Concordia just named the friendly U.S. small town, and I have to say they really live yeah. up to that title. Yeah, the folks that came out, they were they were so generous. There were mm -hmm. cupcakes, there were it was fresh lemonade, and we had some great conversations. Learned a lot about Concordia today. And you had pointed it out. You know, we had treats early this morning. I didn't connect that it was nine. I had no problem eating brownies no. and lemonade and all of it. If it's a road trip, you eat anytime there's snacks. Food. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Welcome back to KSN News at 5 and welcome back to Salina. It is awesome and this is the last mm -hmm. stop of the first day of the KSN summer road trip. I've been counting down to summer road trips since last summer road trip and you had mentioned we were in Salina last year and it yeah. was about 100 degrees and so many people came out. So to be back in Salina, a little bit cooler weather, we have no complaints. No, none at all. It's yeah. been outstanding so far and we can't thank these folks enough that, that have come out. And the mm -hmm. conversation's been outstanding. Absolutely. It's, it's been a privilege to meet so many people and we're going to yeah. show you a little bit about what we saw today. Taking a look at our journey, the historic Elgin Hotel was built in Marion in 1886. It cost $25,000, and today that would be $800,000. Over the years, it changed hands several times. For three decades, it was used as apartments. In 2006, a Hillsborough couple bought it, investing nearly $2 million to restore it to its glory days. And in 2016, it was sold again. 
our vision has been to be one of the most sought after vacation destinations here in Kansas and we're really on the road to become that. The hotel has 12 suites as well as an on-site restaurant. It also has a ballroom for weddings and other events. Now moving west to McPherson County, home of the Maxwell Wildlife Refuge. It is 2,600 acres of serene prairie. It is another world out here. It is. It is so peaceful and um, you feel like you're, you're, you're just in, you're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> peaceful, serene. Those are good ways to describe it. The nonprofit Friends of Maxwell works with the Department of Wildlife and Parks to run the park and you can tour it on board of a covered wagon and see 200 bison and Rocky Mountain elk. The refuge does butt up to the McPherson State Fishing Lake. That's a good lake. They got some fish in that lake. Yeah, some bass. Some good fishing. Hey, let's <laughs> talk about Concordia packed full of history. It is home to several museums, including the Orphan Train Complex. Here's the deal. Between 1854 and 1929, a quarter of a million orphans were shipped from the East Coast to rural America in hopes of giving them better lives. The museum tells the story through the eyes of the kids. I think it's important to share this history because so often history is told from the perspective of adults. It's rare that we get a history that's focused on the experiences of children. And those experiences are just as important as the experiences of adults. And so many people are unaware of this history. By the way, this is a museum that you, you can keep coming back to mm. because it has rotating exhibits, so it is constantly changing. It's open 10 to noon and 1 to 4 Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, Salina, back in Salina, home to a unique museum as well, and this one dedicated to all things cars. You know that's my jam, <laughs> That's right? your favorite, that and fish. Uh, it's called The Garage. <laughs> it opened just over a year ago, and the museum goes far beyond just metal and rubber. It's the memories, it's the connections, it's those hopes and dreams that they've had in these vehicles and to preserve that. Our whole mission here is to relive the past but to drive the future and so bringing in all of the students, the field trips, the summer camps so they can see and learn from all of this is what we're doing. So every three months or so, the garage gets new exhibits. Uh, Trucks opened last month. It features a 1946 Hudson and Ken Blocks 1977 F-150 Hooney truck, but in September, things change to all Corvettes. Oh, I saw a really nice Corvette driving into Concordia today. Are we going the... to a caravan tomorrow in, in a Corvette? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, that's not a bad idea. We just get we get to every stop faster. <laughs> Slower. Maybe I'll drive. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Today really was a gorgeous day, but I know Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman is tracking the potential for some stormy weather. We need to watch out for KHP there, Jeff. That's for sure when it comes to uh, the, the speeding here. We definitely want to make sure that we're all obeying those laws, but I'll tell you what, I saw that Corvette and I know exactly what you're talking about. And in fact, we are using one of our vehicles here to tell us the temperature in Salina. It's 81 degrees. That's because we have asphalt on the ground. Some places cooler. We'll talk about how much warmer temperatures we'll get over the coming days and also who's going to see some of the heaviest of the rainfall. It's already showing up now. Stay tuned. We'll have more live from Salina in a short and track forecast after this. Now your storm track three weather rate forecast with chief meteorologist Lisa Teachman. Welcome back. We always have a blast on the KSN summer road trip. And if you know me, you know I'm going to be able to find the dogs. And I have found Rue. I have known Rue for many, many years now. Probably one of the most mellow chihuahuas that you will ever be able to meet. I think she's about eight or nine years old and just absolutely chill. She's just enjoying the breeze, enjoying the sunshine. Could use a little bit of water because it is a little bit hotter here on the asphalt in the Salina area. Temperatures here are in the lower 80s, but other places in the 60s and 70s, it actually feels feels quite comfortable here for June across Kansas. And that's also one of the reasons why we decided to have our KSN summer road trip at this time of year, because next week it's going to turn much, much hotter. Let's go ahead and take a look at our forecast because we do have storms that are brewing in some parts of the region from Rue and myself here in Salina on the KSN summer road trip. We'll be back after the break. Now let's check back in with Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman on the summer road trip in Salina. 
We need those sunshades, that's for sure, whether it's for your car or for yourself. We're actually giving some of those away on the KSN Summer Road Trip, so you need to come out and see us just like these folks have come out and seen us today here in the Salina area. Jeff and Julia, back over to you. Hey, Lisa, thank you. We have some of our friends here today and our summer road trip is just getting started. We have four more stops tomorrow. We will be in Ellenwood, Great Bend, Nest City and Ellis. You can go to KSN.com to see our exact locations and times. You guys having a good time? Yes, yes. We, are. We, are. we are. We are having a yes. good time. They got this crew's great. We've we've seen this crew at least uh, a couple of years. You had now, said right? for yeah. years. Yeah. Every year. So many wonderful people, Julia. And that's been the fun part, getting to see friends who we've made in different communities and yeah. people coming out and the weather has just been tremendous. We are going to have much more from our big KSN summer road trip coming up on KSN News at 6. All right, we're excited to see that. And hopefully if you are in the Salina area, you can come out and say hello and join us. And I know Lisa said we're giving out some of those sunshades. Yeah. So uh, it's getting a little bit cooler as the sun goes down. Yep. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you at 6. Your forecast first with Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman, sponsored by X Services. Good evening. The first day of the KSN Summer Road Trip 2023 edition about ready to come to a close. But don't worry, we have several more days where we will be hitting the pavement all across the Sunflower State to come out and see you. We have had a few folks out here still in the Salina area. We're going to be here until about 630 this evening. So come on out and say hello. Let's go ahead and take a look at what. So the KSN Summer Road Trip is here. Day one coming to a close. Our team traveled a couple hundred miles in central Kansas to meet you and find out what's unique about your town. Julia Thatcher, Jeff Herndon, live from downtown Salina. Team, how's it going out there? Welcome to downtown Salina. This is the beautiful 67401 Plaza in downtown. By the way, Salina's downtown recognized uh -huh. as a distinguished Kansas downtown. It is a it's a lot happening here. Of course, people had mentioned one of their favorite things to do is to come out and check out concerts. Yeah. So uh, of course, we have a little bit of a concert going on uh, performance behind us right now. And uh, out here in Salina, it's been a great crowd and it's been wonderful to meet people. But we're also going to give you a look at what we've already done today as this KSN summer road trip quickly comes to a close. Craig mentioned it. We traveled yep. hundreds of miles, 200 miles today. A little hard to believe it went by pretty quick. We left our studios this morning in downtown Wichita and headed northeast, not realizing a party was waiting for us in Marion. You're seeing some of that right now. Food, a bouncy house. Jeff, I think you said you got kicked out of that. I did. I didn't take my <laughs> shoes off, so they <laughs> escorted me out. I saw a kid got launched in there. It makes sense. Yep. Uh, it was uh, outside, and it was a 1912 Santa Fe Depot right next to where we had this party. It is now the city's library. Marion County, home to two lakes. There's Marion County Lake and Marion Lake, formerly known as Marion Reservoir. And the reservoir sits northwest of town. The county lake is southeast of Marion. The county lake home of a Guinness World Record for all things. It is the most marshmallows roasted at one time. Also home to some big old bass. <laughs> big old bass in that lake. Uh, after Marion, we took a little jaunt west to the McPherson Water Park. Julia, myself, Eddie Randall, and Alexis Padilla were live there for KSN News at noon. Several kiddos braved the, well, a little bit chilly temperatures diving into the water there. The historic McPherson Opera House, known as one of the heartbeats of the city. This thing built in 1888. It was one of the first in the country with electricity, if you can believe it. Opening night, all 900 seats were sold. Pretty impressive for a town of less than 2,500. 1925, though, the Opera House turned into a movie theater. Fast forward to the 80s, it was set to be demolished, but it was saved thanks to the McPherson Opera House Preservation Company. They actually had to redo most of it. Uh, the front facade of the of the opera house they had to take it down brick by brick and then build it right back up uh, and remodel that the opera house now hosts uh, plays concerts from bluegrass to well the opera as you know it is also home to the mcpherson arts association alliance which has clay uh, pottery and painting classes round of applause here for the twirlers back there. How Absolutely. about that? These guys are studs. They are. They're actually headed to Great Britain for a world championship. They're the USA twirling team yeah. and they're headed there in August. So it's special to have them out here. And that's been the really cool thing. Uh, something unique and special in every town. And we really yeah. get to know the heartbeat of each community. Take a bow. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> yeah. 
Welcome back to Salina. We're here in downtown. It is a gorgeous evening. It's absolutely incredible. And what's been really special is everyone coming out to say hi and getting to meet people. Yeah, my arm hurts. I take so many pictures of you <laughs> and, and the folks. It's starting to get a little cramp in there. Someone, so that, yeah, yeah, we uh, <laughs> we have gotten to meet a lot of people. Yeah. He's being modest. It, a lot no, of people are no, coming no, over to it, say hi it, to him. This is our last stop <laughs> on the first day of the KSN Summer Road Trip. Yeah, we're going to take a look back and yeah. show you a little bit about what we saw today. First, history, theater, and art. It's a common theme in Concordia. The Brown Grand Opera House opened in 1907. It was made out of native limestone from a local quarry and locally fired bricks. Over the years, it hosted live plays, musicals, dancers, before turning into a movie theater. In the 70s, it was added to the National Historic Register. We were a movie theater for 50 years, and the community came together in the mid-70s, and they wanted to restore the Brown Grand to make sure that the community had a space for cultural events. And it was a community-driven effort, grassroots driven by the community to save the Brown Grand to make sure that it could be around for generations to come. Theater staff hold educational programs, one which started today. And Jeff, this is what I want you to do. Okay. Students are writing their own musical from scratch, and they're going to perform it on Saturday. I'll get started tonight. <laughs> Julia, maybe have something worked up by the end of the road trip. Uh, just down the street from us here in Salina, the historic Stiefel Theater opened as the Fox Watson Theater back in 1931, but closed more than half a century later in 1987. Well, years passed and ownership changed hands. It reopened as the Stiefel in honor of a businessman who put a, a lot of money toward renovation in 2003. Now, business has been booming ever since. The Stiefel up for a prestigious award, one of only five finalists for the Academy of Country Music's Theater of the Year. That is pretty cool stuff. Hey, our journey does not stop here in Salina. Tomorrow we're going to be in Ellenwood, Great Bend, Nest City, and Ellis. And while we're in Great Bend, we will be joined by a special guest. You'll have to come out uh, to the zoo there to see who it is. We can't give it away. I got a preview. It's special cool. guest. Yeah. And you can go to KSN.com, by the way, to see the exact locations and times of the big KSN road trip. We'll be right back. Now, your Storm Track 3 weather rate forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman. Summer is in full effect. It's a perfect time to hit the highway and the KSN summer road trip. That brings us to Salina. What a day. Starting off in Marion. Then we went over to McPherson for our noon broadcast. Got to meet so many of you. And then we went up to Concordia. And now we are ending the day here in Salina. Take a look at the crowd. Oh. And you know, the temperatures are definitely easy to take, aren't they, Addie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ryder, what do you think of our, our temperatures right now? How's the summer going? It's good. It's good. Yeah, hitting the pool, going outside, enjoying things, riding your bike. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to talk a little bit about the weather forecast because we do have some changes on the way for some of us. Let's check back in with Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman on the summer road trip in Salina. Lisa? Some spots will need that umbrella for later this evening. We're going to see that rain start to filter into southwest Kansas, the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. It'll try to slide on by the Wichita area, but most of it is expected to fall out in western Kansas. Could even have one or two thunderstorms that will be a bit on the stronger side. Overnight lows, 50s and 60s. It'll be comfortable. Hard to believe that we have temperatures like this. Our temperatures right now are trending below average for this time of year, and they will once again be below average on Tuesday as we continue the KSN summer road trip. We definitely have a full day planned. Come on out and see us. We would love to meet you. We are live in Salina. I want to toss things back over to uh, Jeff and Julia. Lisa, thank you. 100% spot on. Not only are we not done, we're not done in Salina. So if you no. missed us today, tomorrow morning at Astro Books and Coffee, our Kansas Today team is going to be live from 6 a.m. to 7. So come out and say hi there. That will be a live show. And then we're headed to Ellenwood, Great Bend, live for our noon, Nest City, and Ellis. And we'll be live there no. 5 and 6 o'clock as well. It's going to be hard to top today. What a whirlwind day. What a great way to kick off the KS and Summer Road Trip. Every stop along the way, Marion, McPherson, Concordia, mm -hmm. Salina, it was amazing and thanks to all of you if you're watching it come out and say hi and we look forward to tomorrow for sure absolutely and i think you know you had said it we are so grateful for everyone who came out and we're really excited for the rest of the week yep. can't wait thanks for watching we'll see you tomorrow well day one of the ksn summer road trip is now in the books our team had a great time meeting so many of you and we're going all over the state and hope to see you out on the road. The first stop of the day was in Marion, 
where you will find a gem like this historic Elgin Hotel. It was built more than 130 years ago. For part of that time, it was used as apartments before it was restored to its former glory. Its current proprietor tells us that guests come literally from all over the world. We're here in the Flint Hills. Um, we're only about 20 miles from the Tallgrass Prairie Preserve, which is Kansas's only national park. And so people come out to enjoy that. We have a lot of antiquing in the area. And then of course, our two lakes are very popular. So uh, lots of outdoor fun to be had here in Marion. Not only is the Elgin a world-class hotel, it also has a ballroom that can be rented out for weddings and other events. And the stop in McPherson bringing the road trip near the Maxwell Wildlife Refuge. The 2,500 acres of natural wonder was named for John Maxwell, who immigrated from Scotland in 1859. He helped to preserve the prairie and the bison, who had largely disappeared. We also stopped in Concordia, which for several decades, between 1854 and 1929, was the destination for hundreds of thousands of orphans from eastern U.S., the hope was to give them a chance for a better life. The Orphan Train Complex Museum tells their stories. Really one of the main motivations for sending them out west was to get them out of the dirty cities and into Christian homes in rural communities so that they could learn farming skills um, and grow up in a, in a real family environment instead of in an orphanage. She also says that much of the time, history is told from the perspective of adults, so this museum is important because it focuses on children. And by the time they reached Salina, the final stop of the day, the KSN road crew was ready to take a break, but not before a meet and greet with the crowd who turned out to see them. Salina, by the way, is home of the historic Stiefel Theater. It opened in 1931, closed in 87. It did eventually reopen in 2004 after extensive renovation into what you see today. And the nation is taking note. The Stiefel Theater, by the way, is just one of five finalists for the Academy of Country Music's Theater of the Year. I'm Alexis Padilla and I'm Eddie Randall. The summer road trip 2023 is officially underway. We made four stops today, starting in Marion and ending right here in Salina. We are live here at Ad Astra Books and Coffee House starting at six on Kansas today. Grab a cup of coffee and come say hi. And here's a quick look at all of tomorrow's stops. As you just heard from Eddie and Alexis, we start off bright and early in Salina before hitting the road for Ellenwood. From there, it's on to Great Bend, where the team will be live for KSN News at noon. And after that, the next stop will be Ness City before we end up in Ellis for live shots during KSN News at 5 and 6.